open up. Our materials are going to be three sets of three male to male cables and one female male cable. We're going to use an Arduino Uno for this project or any Arduino board, a sound sensor with built in microphone and analog output, three transistors as well, and three one kilo ohm resistors. A nice little breadboard as well. And finally, our really special LED stripe, which are going to be looking really nice uh, according to our new project. Now, let's place the transistors on our breadboard. Remember to be careful with the way you position them so as not to create a short between them. After you place them all, let's go and place the 1 kilo ohm resistors between the base of the transistor and a large space between the board. You can see in the picture below which is the base and the meter as well. Carefully place each resistor. They are really thin cabled so they can break easily. Be careful with them. Once our setup is complete, we have to ground our transistors. As we saw in our previous picture, we're going to use the third pin, which is the emitter, and with a cable or jumper, we're going to ground it, which we're going to use our blue line, in this case, of our bread. So now we're going to set up our sound sensor. Now is the time we're going to use our three female to male cables. And this is how they should look for you. Now, from the end of our resistors, we're going to use three male to male jumpers. Now we're going to bring our Arduino Uno board. We're going to take our red cable and place it on digital pin 11. Green one is going to go to number 10. And lastly, our blue one on number 9. Now our Arduino board has a ground section. We're going to use this yellow cable and ground the rest of our system. Now, we're going to bring our sensor into game. We're going to use our red cable and place it on our Arduino 5 volt pin. Then we're going to use the black cable, which is the ground, and place it under Arduino second ground section. And our out, which is the brown cable, to the analog pin A0 from our Arduino. Now the farm power begins. We're going to bring our LED stripe and we're going to start plugging in some extensions for our cables. This RGB LED stripe has four female connectors. Yours may not have them and in that case you will have to weld them together from your four terminals. I would suggest if you're a minor, have a help from an adult. Each jumper represents their respective color on our LED stripe except the black one, which is a 12 volt positive power supply connector.
Now connect the white cable to our positive in the breadboard, the red one to the collector of the transistor in which you connect the Arduino's digital pin 11. Repeat for green and blue as well. Now we're going to calibrate our sensor. It has a potentiometer which is rotative and we're going to adjust it to see how sensitive we need it. To confirm our calibration, we're going to snap our fingers and see how sensitive it is. You can notice a red LED just popping up every sound we make. Now we have to upload our program to our Arduino board. The program will be uploaded for you for free once we achieve our 100 likes on this video. So now you better go and smash the like button. We're going to feed our system with 12 volts. And now, let the fun begin. Don't forget to comment down below what you'd like to see on our next video. And welcome to Brain Smash. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Also, look for us on GitHub.